In this video, we want to solve seventh problem of Berkeley Math Tournament 2022 algebra test. There are 10 problems, 60 minutes. Now we want to focus on seven, uh, problem number seven. We can solve it with two ideas. I want to solve with the easier one. But the other one, you should know Newton's sum and some other things. But let's focus only on partial sum. So let me tell you, partial sum decomposition is what? It's not hard. We want to find this. 1 over 1 minus r squared, 1 over 1 minus s squared, 1 over 1 minus c squared, srt are distinct roots of this polynomial. So at first, partial sum is what? When we have 1 minus r squared, we can say, okay, we can factorize it is 1 minus r times 1 plus r. Then you can say, okay, it is, for example, 1 minus r plus 1 plus r. You can say a, b and try to find a, b. Here, if you place 1, if you consider common denominator, it will be 1 plus r, 1 minus r, it will be 2, so we consider 1 half. Okay, now, if we consider this part equal to, for example, a, so a equal to one half times one over one minus r one over one minus s one minus r one over one minus s plus one over one minus t plus one over one plus r plus one over one plus s plus one over one plus t. Here, if you want to calculate, you should know Vieta's formula. It was partial sum. I told you. The next one, if you want to solve, you should use Vieta's formula. Vieta's formula is what? You can say if, for example, here x cubed minus this, you should memorize it, and the proof is not hard. You can say because the roots are r s t, you can find r plus r s plus t. You can find r s plus s t plus r t, and you can find r s t for r s t. It will be negative twenty twenty two. The next one is twenty twenty two. The next one is twenty twenty two. Okay. Because we want to calculate this, I consider I use changing variable. I consider it is C. It is C, so it is negative C. I consider this is uh, 20, 22. Okay, now let's calculate. Here, if you want to calculate, if you use common denominator here, it is 1 minus R, 1 minus S, 1 minus T. And the numerator is 1 minus S times 1 minus T, plus 1 minus R times 1 minus T plus 1 minus r times 1 minus s. We use this for these parts. Now for next one, we should change all minus to plus. So let's copy and paste here. So we change all minus to plus, 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 plus. Okay. Now here, you can say 1 half the denominator here is what? 1 times 1 times 1, 1, then uh, 1 times 1 times negative t, you can say negative r plus s plus t, and for rs, you can say rs plus rt plus st, and then minus rst, okay, we can write like this, and the numerator, you can say 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, 3, then negative s, negative s. We have two negative s, so we consider negative 2 r plus s plus t. And then we have r s t plus r t plus s r. And you can see, uh, you can check to not ignore any term. We have 2 times 2, 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12 terms. We should have 3 plus 2 times 6, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. Okay, here if you want to write, it will be plus of all of them, 3 plus 2 times r plus s plus t plus s r or s t plus r t plus r s all over the denominator is 1 plus r plus s plus t plus r s plus r t plus s t plus r s t. Okay, now we want to use c. We want to write in terms of c. So this part will be c. R s plus s t plus r t is also c. You can write this is c, this is c. And rst is negative c, so rst is negative c, so minus minus will be plus. Now, if we write again here is c, this one is c, 
This one is C, this one is C, and this one is negative C. Okay. If we calculate, it will be one half times three minus two C plus C. So it will be three minus C over minus C and C will be canceled. Minus minus, it will be plus. So one plus C. And the next one, it will be again, you can say minus one, one plus C. Okay. So one plus C here. And you can say 3 plus 2c plus c. So 3 plus 3c. So because the denominators are same, you can say 1 plus c, 3 minus c plus 3c, 2c, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 2c. If you consider 1 half, it will be 3 plus c, 1 plus c. And c was what? 20, 22. So it will be 20, 25 over 20, 20. In 2023 because it is 2022. Okay, so we've solved this only with uh, Vieta's formula, and we have also another problems from SMT. Let me consider. Okay, from SMT, which is for a Stanford Math Tournament, that you should use Vieta's formula. The problems that are harder, you should also use Newton's sum. Okay. Newton's sum is something similar to Vieta's formula, but sometimes you should combine Newton's sum and Vieta's formula like SMT problem and also in some Amy problems. If you want to learn Newton's sum, Vieta's formula, how to approach problems of AMC, IMO, prestigious math exams, summer camps like Promise, Sumac for Stanford. If you want to learn, improve your problem solving, to have a good CV for applying university, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Okay, thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.